Hello, welcome back. This is another Discord special. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, hopefully for those that are watching, they managed to get this, the ones that you get the shout out. We might have to ping you a little bit later. This one is definitely for some of the uh, newer members, I believe. Uh, I know there are two of you with similar names in the Discord channel, uh, high end, so you can't trick me. I did look, I was like, hey, wait a second, is this the OG or the new guy? So, or girl, for that matter. So I was just like, I think it's the new person. So anyway, high end, this question is for you. And this answer is for you. I, I guess it's not really a question. It is your question, though. Um, and I do actually get it quite a lot as well. And it really is pretty annoying. It's it just, the game frustrates me equally because <laughs> I'm like, why do they make it so hard in certain areas like Beast Realm or the final chapter stage, you know, 200, uh, which we did with Zygon. I mean, it just, yeah, it frustrates me. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it is, of course, accuracy. People say all the time, how the hell the hell do I get accuracy in this game? Why is my accuracy dog crap? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Mine is too. Um, but we're going to delve into it. Ian. We're going to check that out. And of course, I'm going to do a little bit of a special mention to, to Morning Dew. I do um, notice that you do have some cool comments and you are pretty articulate in the, the questions that you're asking. Um I did find out some information about one of the questions per se. Uh, what does a certain statistic do? So we're going to delve into that as well during the video. If you're new or visiting, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification. And more importantly, you jump into the Discord gang. We are one above all. And obviously the name says it all. <laughs> no, not really. We're just trying to build a community there and feel free, you know, Everyone is welcome. We don't have any boundaries in terms of the questions you can talk about. Obviously, it's just a place to be feeling, you know, safe, secure, and to chill out. Uh, hopefully free of trolls. <laughs> anyway, in terms of today's video, we're going to check out the accuracy statistic on legendaries. In particular, because I rock around with a lot of legendaries, but we might swap one out uh, and see what epics look like as well. But in terms of the raw statistic, accuracy is generally really bad. And when you look at it from a holistic point of view, you have to scratch your head and go, well, why is the game's accuracy so dog crap? <laughs> why is it so bad? And honestly, I have no answer for that question. Um, I don't know why they would design it to be so low. And obviously there are mitigating factors and other things around that. Because most of the time you still manage to hit your target. It just gets really frustrating when you start to notice that they are evading you more often than not. So in terms of the statistic accuracy, we can check out a couple of these guys. 28%. Uh, this guy has dismal accuracy, but I've never seen him miss a heal. So I don't even know if accuracy applies to healers. This guy's got 11%. Old mate Jua, Ijiya, he has 28%. It's a pretty stock standard level of 28% accuracy. And then all of a sudden your protagonist drops and he's like 66% accuracy. Boom. I'm like, damn, you know, maybe I should just put some pretty cool artifacts on him because he's never going to miss. Well, her <laughs> either way, depending on which uh, gender you decided to pick for your protagonist. But she never misses the freaking shot. So I don't know. I don't know. This game is sketchy when it comes to some, some forms of statistics. It could potentially be that uh, enemies' evasion rates are like 20%, so you kind of hit most of your shots. But I have started to notice that, uh, particularly with the AoE types of heroes, these two, um, they do manage to hit like 90% of the time. But when you get into like trials and beast mode and anything where the enemy's power level scales higher than yours, I noticed that that's when you start to miss more. And that could just be because the base rate of accuracy of enemies is the opposite, which is evasion. So their evasion skill could be higher than your accuracy. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, <laughs> It's a poor, it's a poor mechanic that isn't really explained very well within the game. 
as you can see, there are so many statistical factors within the character's makeup. All of these play a part, um, but some are more important than others. And we'll get into that and we'll obviously answer some of uh, Morning Dew's questions as well. But in terms of accuracy, so your base rate is 28%. How do you push that up? That was pretty much the question that I pondered upon and I thought to myself, you know what, what the hell do relics even do? So to answer your question, we're going to go into a relic here and basically breaking it down for you. Relics are important in the terms that they give you critical resistance, block chance, magic defense, um, all that sort of stuff. You know, I had another question to ask me, you know, which one should I prioritize? Honestly, all relics doesn't really matter if it's Ming Day's manual or if it's a um, dual aspect or if it's a, where's the other one, Scripture of Great Peace. They all give you the same form of statistics, which is crit, pierce, magic, defense, or the alternative will be block, crit resistance, or magic defense. So don't worry too much about which relics you're sliding in mainly focus on what your player affinity is that's probably a, a free tip for those that are watching make sure you do player affinity it's more important than anything in terms of that but in regards to this the only way you get accuracy and i'm gonna make sure that i look at every aspect while i do this this again doesn't have it interesting even the ascended forms don't have accuracy as a statistic which is kind of sad but the only way to get accuracy is to level up your engravings on your actual uh, relics. Both, it, it, you, you, you're going to have to get into the habit of exploring in this fucking game. I'm telling you. Um, but anyway, as you can see, the wolf set's going to give you plus 5% accuracy. That's kind of where the ball starts rolling. After that, the tiger set is going to give you 8% accuracy. And the dragon set gives you 12% accuracy. So these are raw statistics that are added to your player character's score. So I'd probably give you a bit of an example here. Let's have a look to see if this is true. So accuracy at the moment for Dao Chan is 28%. If we go ahead and ascend, or should I say, engrave this guy to the wolf set, hopefully... In theory, that should increase. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to happen. We're going to have to make sure. <laughs> We're going to have to wait and see if that actually does happen. Because again, it could just be a flaw that we can't see everything on our spreadsheets as well, which is something we can put feedback in for. Now, in terms of this, as you can probably see, I don't have enough crystals. To get basic relic crystals, The pretty much the only way you can get it is by doing your expeditions. Uh, they do drop there. But ultimately, you need to be doing your daily blitzes, which is this one, to acquire the merit. So you need to do your battlegrounds. You unlock a couple of them as you progress either way. But once you start to accumulate some funds there, um, basically, you're going to be in a position where you can spend them. So <laughs> as you can see, we can buy just one. Um, I've been buying out advanced engraving crystals myself, but... There are a difference, so you can get the engraving crystals for your weapons set, like your armor set, I should say. This is for your relics, which is what we're talking about in this video. There are two types, be careful. They do look different, obviously. One's a teardrop, the other is a uh, opal or a sphere. I should probably say it's a circle, <laughs> a diamond looking thing. Um, but basically, that's where you're going to be able to acquire it. So in theory, when we upgrade this, we should get a plus statistic of plus 5% accuracy. Now, if we go into her stats, is it going to show more than 28% accuracy? Yes, it does. So now she has 33% accuracy. Now, it's expensive. As you can see, I've already run out. Like I have been working... Well, you know, I have been working a little bit to try and push these guys up to uh, wolf minimum relics. So it's a slow process, but it's something that you definitely need to start to think about in terms of investing for the engravements. You will, of course, need a, a shit ton to get to elephant and then to tiger. Um, but start small, focus on one hero that you want to boost the accuracy for most and push up that way. But in terms of other areas where you can acquire accuracy... That's a fantastic question as well. 
some heroes have it as a base uh, ability. So you might notice that some heroes buff your accuracy. Um, I'm just trying to think from a woo perspective. If I remember correctly, there's a guy in here that does it. It's Sun Quan, right? It is. Sun Quan has his own... Sun Quan has his own natural accuracy ability, so the attack has 25% more attack and 25% more accuracy. So he has a base rate of increased accuracy on him. Um, I don't know if there's another guy. I'm just trying to think. There is a guy that has... I know he's in Shoe Nation. There must be a Shoe Nation guy with increased accuracy as well. Maybe Big Mama Q actually gives accuracy now that I think about it. Oh, this is damage reduction. Uh, you got damage reduction. So one of these, one of the healers, I think, does give accuracy, though. So we're going to muddle along until we find it. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. I'm pretty sure... Okay, so this guy increases in accuracy by 20%. This is kind of just a rough example of some nations that have the innate ability to increase their own accuracy. Um, oh yeah, there we go. Pangton. So Pangton has an ability to increase allies, all allies, heroes, accuracy by 15%, which is pretty damn big. Um, obviously, you're not running a Shoe Nation hero, so it's probably not going to apply to you, but there are... There are some little buggers out there that do have the ability to boost everyone's team's accuracy. I don't know in so much of the legendary variety. I think this might be one of the only few legendaries that boosts everyone's accuracy by 20% as well as damage bonus. Um, Shoe Nation, man. Shoe Nation getting all the accuracy buffs. <laughs> While we're here, we might as well just increase this here. Old mate. But yeah, in terms of that, it can be quite frustrating um to be able to boost your overall accuracy percentage uh as i as i you know i tried to cover it a little bit in terms of the hero sides of things i'm not a thousand percent familiar for, with every sort of ability that all the heroes have <laughs> contrary to what my some people might think <laughs> uh, i don't know everything at all um but basically yes that's some of the some of the heroes can actually boost your team in terms of accuracy Another place that you can go is, of course, some of your um, charms can give you accuracy as a bonus to your team. I actually don't know which charms have a base stat increase. I don't know if there's a lot that actually do give you an outright accuracy boost. They're more damage related. Um, that'd be interesting. Let me know in the comment section below if there's a charm that actually gives you specifically an accuracy boost. Because that could be um, that could be a little bit versatile, but as far as I know, there's no team charm that gives you one outright. The only way to get it is through ruins. So ruins are a different kettle of fish, and as you can see, you're going to need the forms of in the form of an epic variety ruin. But once you have this equipped, you're going to acquire two percent accuracy to your entire party. So when you go to the bidding section over here. You're going to have to buy the Solar Ruins. Uh, of course, you need to check if your charms, excuse me, have the corresponding Ruin slots for accuracy. Some of them don't. Some of your Epic Charms don't. So you have to be very mindful of that too before you invest in gold. But it's 2.9k gold. Um, as you can see, you only get this from the Legion event. Um, everybody's always bidding on it. Like, I've never seen a point at all within the game when they're not bidding on it. Uh, it's basically, you just have to buy it at the very, very last minute if you really want it, or you can pay for it outright. So Sword Spear has it. Uh, Sabia's Charm has accuracy. Um, Shank doesn't have accuracy. Uh, Ground Spike again. Oh, it does, 1%, nice. Ground Spike does. Do I have do I have a Ruin equipped to one of these guys? Sorry, yes I do. So let's... Uh, let's see. Can I remove that? Is there an option for me? Let me see if I can. I want to see if I can recycle one of them. I want to take the one with the, this one here. Reset that. I want to go my ruin back. So just out of curiosity, yes, you can get your ruin back. 
Um, and I want to I wanna put it on uh, this combo here, this one here. So where are we at? Where's my ground spike? Let's go. Let's see if that boosts up everyone's accuracy by one because we have it equipped, obviously. So all accuracy 1%. Um, there you go. Let's go into it and let's see. So he was on 66%. Now he's on 67. There you go. So there, there's another way for you to be able to boost your overall accuracy statistics is by boosting your ruins within your charms. Um, pretty much that's it. Heroes like Pang Tong that can boost your team. HHY, which can boost your team. Sadly, they're both Shu Nation. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones within like each faction that can do it as well. You have to check that out yourself. Um, but basically, you're going to get ruins and you're going to do relics. And that's that's essentially how you're going to be able to increase your accuracy. Uh, when you're in trial term, you know, trials and things like this, uh, you'll be able to pick the statistic accuracy when it appears as a drop rate percentage. Uh, as an example, maybe we can uh, get one here. So out of all of this, you can just pick it. So if accuracy is here and you're lacking accuracy, just pick it. I know that was HP, but it gives you an example of that much as well. Now, last but not least, a morning adieu. Uh, you were wondering, or you did comment uh, basically about, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Um, there we go. So you were saying about Pierce, you're like, you, you didn't think Pierce was related to block. Well, if you ever get curious, go into your advanced statistics table here and you can check out exactly what every single one of these items does. So basically, Pierce determines if an attack will be blocked. Defenders block and then defenders Pierce. So essentially, um, it is an offensive statistic, but ultimately, I mean, it's not a bad pick. You're right. It's not a bad pick in the towers. If you have the choice between a defense statistic or an offense, well, technically Pierce is offensive. So you're right. You just pick Pierce. But it is only determined for uh, block. If attack will be blocked. Um, there you go. So uh, block strength used to calculate block effectiveness and block reduction. Again, used to calculate block effectiveness. So there are two raw statistics around block itself. And then they've got block as a holistic. <laughs> it's such a weird breakdown. It's like you've got block and then you've got... Uh, so you can have like 23% block chance. And then you have like an additional 4% block chance. So overall, your block percentage is actually 27%. Um, and the chance that, you know, that you're going to pierce the enemy can be increased by an extra 4% as well. So block reduction is inclusive of pierce, I assume. So then my total chance of, you know, getting through a block area is 24%. So it's pretty confusing. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why they decided to buff all the statistics the way they did. But hopefully that, you know, confirms a little bit of what you were after and what you were wondering about in your comment section below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit me up in Discord or the comment section and I'll catch you in the next one.